Hello and welcome to uh, Emanuel Wolfer workshop for especially for string instruments. My name is Roland Wolfer and uh, I'm the fourth generation in the family for about uh, string instruments making. focus is about the double basses, uh, but we make also the cellos and the violins. Yes, uh, I'm right now, I'm 30 years by myself into the workshop. The workshop is founded in 1905 and when I start to learn uh, this violin making, then uh, my grandfather was the owner of the workshop. During these years, uh, my father and my uncle, Van and Rudolf Wolfer, uh, are the owners. And yeah, and I stay in a long history of uh, violin making in the family. It is not easy to, uh, to, to growing up in a violin maker family. So when I graduate about a violin letter, and, uh, but uh, I was a learning person also. Uh, just uh, my word was accept when I have my master degree. Uh, when, when you're in a, when you grow up in a family workshop and you have um, and with your father and your uncle and with your grandfather, and all have the master degree, uh, you have nothing to say before you have also the master degree. <laughs> um, it is funny and it's a, a it's a really nice uh, thing, um, but. This uh, teach me a lot of things. Uh, this teach me a lot of ideas. What what the family give me. What I have to have look about my focus about violin making. Most important is to uh, make a real work with a real material and a real traditional working. Very very important is in our workshop, the huge uh, woodstock. The woodstock have to be natural dry about uh, a long, long time. Um, it's, it's really important uh, to have this situation. Uh, the wood have to be stand outside, um, really uh, in the cold weather, in a hot weather, in a dry weather, in a really wet weather. When the wood uh, uh, come uh, to these periods without any uh, trouble, then it is pretty right to, uh, to produce uh, instruments from the, for the Emanuel Wolfer workshop. In all these years it was for me really, really important and uh, it was really a wonderful situation to have uh, a really good contact for, to all the musicians all over the world. Is it from Japanese or from South America, from Eastern Europe or from, from uh, North America? All these musicians with her special wishes was for me the most important what I have during this working time or during this uh, workshop time. Uh, it is so uh, important for me to have the, the challenges. Uh, so th uh, the musician uh, give me uh, questions and I have to give answers. Answers in my mind, answers in the word, and especially answers in the work. most wonderful situation for me every time is when you give an instrument to a musician uh, and he looks, he start to play and after one minute his eyes uh, looking like a sunshine, uh, looks like he thinks he sees a, sta a star in the, uh, in the dark night and uh, that, so I don't need any answers more so that is why why I live, that is why, uh, why I work and that is what I give back to the, my family history. That is the result, the respect for the generation before and yeah, that is my most important thing to do.
And a lot of people ask me about uh, what is with what is behind you, what comes behind you, and uh, that is also a, a very a nice uh, a nice question. And I look about my children. So I have three children. Um, two from these three children are very uh, musical, talented. When I look about my two older children. Uh, when he do something when he was young, uh, he do something very nice for, very careful, and this is also the way to do in her uh, main life. My youngest one, it is, um, yeah, it's a very interesting boy. So uh, he grew up in the workshop, I can say, uh, like me. I'm growing also up in the workshop, and uh, very nice is when some musicians come to me and we discuss about the instruments. I have nothing to say. Uh, I say uh, we talk, and uh, my uh, son, the name would like to be Lucas or is Lucas. Uh, the son go out in the storage or in the stock and pick up some different tail pieces, tuning machines, pack, lung some something like this and show this to the musician. So um, when this uh, came the same situation like the two older children, so uh, I can say definitely my third children Lucas Wolfer, I think he would like to go into our, my footstep. I think it, I wish it, I hope it. Very important for uh, me personally is to have uh, contacts to the musician, to the orchestras, and also to some uh, losers, uh, you can say also dealers in some areas. Um, the main important is uh, for me to find person and to have person, and so I'm also lucky to have this, uh, to, who make a good service in, in, in the city or in the town or in the country. So for me, I can travel sometimes but not every time for each uh, instrument. So in this case it is really important to have somebody who can work, who know the musician and he can make some service of the instrument. So uh, I would like to have uh, friends or business partners who can handle also the, the service. Uh, that is really careful for the, uh, also for the orchestras and the musician. And, um, and I like it. I like to have, uh, personally, I like to have uh, some instruments continue back to, the, to my shop. Just looking over the instruments and uh, then I feel me better. So uh, just looking on the instruments, is everything okay? Wonderful. That that's makes me happy. And uh, the, you can say to 95%, 98%, nothing is to do totally nothing, but it gives a good feeling for the musician and gives a good feeling for me personally. We stand every time behind the instrument. So, um, uh, so in which place you are staying in the world, uh, you know you can contact our workshop and we can help you right away about some contacts in some countries or, uh, with, or what's going on, whatever uh, a problem is coming. Uh, we are every time behind our instruments. So also the instruments are a long time go out from our workshop. When you give something to do, something to say, please come back. We are here for our instrument every time. And that's now over 100 years. <laughs>